this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification. If you want to updates on entrepreneurship, small business strategies, social media, automation for your business, digital marketing, and working with your virtual assistant tips. In this video, I'm going to show you membership function for your wordpress site so if you have a wordpress and you are planning to do a membership either free or paid membership for your website you can use this plugin uh, for that purpose the, the name of this plugin is simple wordpress membership plugin so this is a free plugin to use you will be uh, creating a protected content for your WordPress site. You can either use it for free membership or paid membership and it is easy to use. So let's get started. Uh, we are going to upload or add a plugin which is um, the simple membership I just um, downloaded the membership simple membership plugin and now we're going to activate it just click the activate button in here what are we doing right now is we are adding um, the simple membership for um, the access of our members into some of the accounts or some of the acts some of the content that we have inside so so add simple membership plugin go to dashboard go to plugins and add new now add simple membership and activate click activate so we're going to now that we have activated the wordpress membership the simple wordpress membership we are going to the settings Okay, so this is the uh, basic settings that we did inside the plugin. So we are going to enable the free membership because we offer this is a free membership, uh, free membership for the website. I've the uh, the ID of the membership is number two. So I created a membership inside the plugin, which is here. So I, uh, my identity or the ID for that is two, <clears throat> and then we're going to hide admin bar because it, we don't want the admin bar to show up for the members uh, uh, dashboard or interface. Uh, so we are going to click this because we are an admin of the website so we want to uh show the admin toolbar for the admin users only so we're going to disable this as well so we're going to you're going to check that this is uh disabling the members to be able to log in through the wordpress dashboard so we need to disable this this is active this is good okay in here it will show this uh, plugin will create an automatic um, pages uh, once you activate the plugin it will create different pages for the login page URL the registration page the join us page the uh, profile page URL if they want to edit uh, their profile for their membership they can do that through this URL as well as the uh, password reset page URL it this will be automatically created by the plugin so this is how you're going to create the membership levels for the membership uh, that you are creating for your website go to the mem the WP membership plugin in the dashboard area of your website which is here go to membership 
levels. Okay, we're going to add new. For example, this one is a silver membership. Subscriber, a uh, sub subscriber. So if you have, uh, this is where you're going to put the expiration uh, information. So if it is just for 30 days, two weeks, this is for the number of weeks, number of months, number of years, and a specific date. Uh, for the expiration so you can uh, do it here so i'm going to show you later the email activation or uh, what are the uh, emails that they, they will receive upon activation of their membership so this is the after login redirection page so you can put a uh, web web website url in here if, uh, if you want to uh, redirect the uh, your members after they created their account then you can add their membership so let us say we have silver already um the messages or the email they re, uh, they will receive upon registration or any activity that they created inside our website so this is the notification for new membership this is what they will receive same thing here this is for the um, if the registration is completed so this is what they are going to receive they will be given a username and password and they will have also the login URL okay so this is a um, an abandoned email notification so let us say that if the sign up is not yet completed or if it has been abandoned by the user they will get this notification okay so this is a very simple plugin that we can use on our website with um, a very straightforward automation so they also have the, the plugin also has a um, resetting um system in place wherein they will receive this email for the change password um process and if you are creating the membership with um up upgrade option they will have or they will receive this email notification as well now that uh, if the account has been activated they will also receive this email so a lot of function in here pretty straightforward and I will just uh, check how we are going to configure or customize the pages that we have so after config configuration of the uh, simple uh, membership plugin inside the work uh, inside our website I just noticed that when I try to sign in uh, using the uh, sign in URL the the plugin provided it is redirecting to home page which is not a good thing because I wanted uh, it to be redirected to a um, uh, a page that I created for the members area so to troubleshoot this we need to um, add another plugin which is which is the simple membership after login redirection so this is important this is actually just an add-on on your uh, already existing uh, simple WordPress membership plugin. So we just need to configure the after login redirection, which is this one. And this is how you're going to do it. Again, in the dashboard um, area, go to uh, WP membership and go to uh, membership levels. 
so right now we are trying to configure the free membership of the website which is this one now uh, as you can see here after you um, uploaded or added the plugin or the add-on you will have this a uh, function so after login redirection page and you will just put the redirection page in there just the url that you need to put in there how to configure the protected content so just go to the page or the post that you're trying to uh, uh, have the accessibility for your members for this one uh, as you can see here it uh, has a notification that you need to log in to be able to view this content so how did we do that inside is um, okay click um, to edit and then this is to uh, the uh, regular editor that we are using inside the website so just scroll down at the uh, in here at the very bottom okay you will see here simple membership protection so uh for example you need to have this content for the free membership so you're going to protect it for uh free member okay protect the content for free or level one membership so that is how you're going to configure it there you go good luck and thank you for watching